what do we understand by structure and union in C++? How can we write a program and understand the concept of structure and unions? Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to firstly discuss about what are structures and union, what is the basic difference between a structure and union and then we will execute a program to understand it more better technically. So to begin with, what is a structure? A structure is a user-defined data type in C, C++ that allows to combine data items of different kinds. It means a structure is a collection of variables can be different types under a single name. Now this is a basic declaration of a structure. With the help of struct keyword, we can declare it. Struct, then the name of the particular structure. Then you can include several integer float and character variables along with the data type and then the var name that is variable name. Structure can be declared by using the struct keyword as done in this particular declaration. To assess these data type, a structure variable is declared. Methods to declare a structure variable. At the time of declaring structure as shown in above structure, declaration example, you can declare in such a way also. Or structure can also be declared inside the main function as struct name dot var name. That means structure name dot variable name. You can also define structure in the main function also. Now there are several advantages of structure. It is user friendly and easy to understand. Less time and space is required to write an SS. Can contain single data variable multiple times and save time and space also. This increases the time value of the program running. Value of the variable can be changed easily and it, is, it has to be changed only once. Only once you need to change the value, that same value will be used everywhere in this structure. Useful in maintaining multi data type record system, for example, library record or bank account record. Now, there are several advantages of structure also. Changing value of a variable affects the entire program. Every variable has to be assessed using structure variable, which consumes the time and the space. So every variable needs to have a storage value in that particular program. Usually the development at this approach takes longer time and it is language dependent. So that means structure is language independent. You cannot use it with any other programming language. Whereas it is in the case of assembly language, the development takes lesser time as it is fixed for a particular machine. Next come to the concept is union. That what do we mean by union? Now unions or union is a user defined similar or to struct as discussed above. It is also a user defined data type, but how does it differ? So you have to declare union with the keyword union and then the name of the particular union. Then you can include several data types, integer, float, care, along with the variable, and then finally the variable name. Now the advantages and disadvantages, it, its advantages and disadvantages are quite similar to the structures which we have mentioned earlier in the tutorial. Now the methods to declare a union is quite simple to the structure. At the time of declaring union, you can declare it with the above union declaration also and union can also be declared inside the main functions just as structure is defined union name dot variable name similar to structure now if they have so much similarity then there must be a difference otherwise why are we using two different terms for them so the basic difference between the union and structure are the keyword structure is using struct keyword and the union is using union keyword to define its structure in structure, when a variable is associated with a structure, the compiler allocates memory for each member. That means each member, each variable A, B, C is having a separate memory. When a variable associated with the union, the compiler allocates the memory for each member. That means the variable association is not done as similar to the structure. The size of structure is greater than or equal to the sum size of its members. And similarly, the individual members can be assessed at a time, but in union, there can be only one member assets at a time. For other differences, you can refer to the tutorial. Next is the example. So now here you can see that firstly, there are header files, hash include iostream.h, stdio.h, and then conio.h. Now this is an example of structure. And what do we have named the particular structure is example is the name of structure with the help of struct keyword. 
the data types are int float care and the variables are abc and then we have named the variable var similarly we have declared a union having data as the name of union and there are also data types integer float care and the respective variables are x y and z and then we have named the variable as uni uni then we have begin the program and then we have assigned the values to the variable data types of the structure and union both and then we have print and then lastly we have print the variable and data types of union after passing the values and then we have print the same values so the output will be showing us the values which we have given here in the format so as i execute this program as shown in the program we declare a structure and union variable inside the main function we can assign and retrieve the structure and union variables using the syntax variable name dot data type name as shown here you can see that variable name and dot data type name so this is the variable uni which we created for union and the data types or the sizes xyz and similarly we can see here for the var we have also assigned the values in the structure also and this is how we have declared the values and then shown the output now i will execute the query in the programming line so this is the program which we have written for structure and union with all the declaration struct name is here example and similarly the data and the values have been passed using the printf statement and then the get ch for closing the console window so as i firstly compile the program to check if there are any errors no there are no errors similarly then i will run the progr program and then you will see that the values have been displayed so these are the values which we have passed the first three values for structure and then again for the union this is how the values have been passed assigning each separate memory block for each variable so this is how structure and union is done the basic difference between structure and union and how are they used and what are their several disadvantages and advantages been mentioned in this video for more programming and theoretical concepts we will look into upcoming videos thank you